F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fam? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R. Friend request reviews where friends request friends to watch The Wire season two, episode nine, titled stray rounds mm. stray rounds i don't like the sound of that man because with stray bullets comes innocent bystanders and you know there's a lot of a lot of animosity in the air at least at least over there on the pit side of things so i'm wondering if this has something to do with what you know Bodie did last episode pushing people off the block and he mentioned they will come back. They had no choice but to. So I'm going to have my eyes out for that. How you feeling over there, Bralick? Feeling great, man. Hopefully y'all over there tuning in and having a great day as well. But yeah, man, the wire. I, th I think you hit it on the head, man. I think that's exactly what it was. We did have a conversation about that. The end talk last episode about how it wasn't too, you know, appealing. You know, it's been the same situation for, for going, you know, pretty much the whole season now. So hopefully this is the turning point and where, you know, it kind of ramps up with the, the whole pit side of things. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe, 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 you know, we might be seeing something turning around here. So I'm ready. I'm ready to dive in, bro. Yeah, look, he ready. I'm ready. I know y'all ready. So we ain't going to hold you any longer we just gonna fly right in y'all already know what to do with these videos drop those likes make sure you drop some comments and most importantly subscribe the goal is 10k click the button click the bell get notified when we go live Let's get it zevayer woke this morning got yourself a fleece <laughs> Okay, we, we started straight ready. out on the block. The shit right here. The other day you was calling it Bin Laden. Yeah, but well now it's WMD. Same shit, new name. You be alright. You be alright. <laughs> they even they ain't even telling them the game like <laughs> same shit, just new name. You like, feel me? You got your chrome, younger. There they go. Oh no, I think you might be right. The innocent me? bystander. Innocent bystander. Let's go. Y'all mind the crossfire, yeah. They about to triangulate. Look, these kids already know what's up. They've been around too long. Man, they really are going two separate ways. There they go. Yo, they coming back. Ooh. They got the lookouts. Oh, okay, okay. They part of he part of the crew. Yo. This fool got a bat. <laughs> you feel me? Go get out of here. What you mean a bat? Oh shit, yep. Oh, get it. Mm, oh, they're showing that yeah, man. Wow, look, at look how he's shooting from a. <sighs> oh, they go to other three. Yep. They go to triangulation. Oh, it's, it's Come on, poop. It's poop up again. Nah, it looks like poop about to go into a random crib. He did. Look how that, that nigga said. <laughs> Like, what the fuck you doing? Yo, nobody got aim out here. Nobody Man, aiming. this shit nobody is aiming. looking terrible. This looking like a game of fucking airsoft. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, airsoft, I done seen better than nah, airsoft. Facts. This looking like you hand your controller to your mother on GTA. <laughs> you see the way he was running like <laughs> that? man was tapping the fuck out of ass. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody had to get hit with all the boys. Drama done with boy. You gotta get your bag and get yourself to school. The boy got hit. Oh, Drama's no. over, not for him. Come on now, the drama's Damn. done. Get your. He got hit from upstairs. I thought he was downstairs. Gotta get rid. <sighs> he was looking out the window. <gasps> yep, he blew it. Uh, kid ain't no better, man. That's fucked. Well, there goes the title. They went straight yeah. into it. Straight to it. And last week's title, or yesterday, or last episode's title. <laughs> Duck and Cover was all for this. Exactly. The, the world, world is a smaller, smaller place, place now. now. 
Hmm. The Greek. Looking for my lazy boys. Five of them you got for me, right? That shit went just tomorrow. Got it. That's what the Newkirk warehouse was giving us a few days back. Straight to the point drug talk. No muss, no fuss. And to top hmm. it off, Sabaka hasn't used his cell phone since. Wow. You gotta make on it, it at least. We tipped our hands somewhere. That second can, maybe. Having the port police yep. make a traffic stop on that cargo must have spooked them. If they think we're on to them, they switch the can themselves just to be safe. And it goes off the docks with some bullshit inside just to see if we pull them up. Which we did. Which I did. Mm. Yeah. There you go, Russell Heen. <laughs> yep. Do any homicides in the pit fuck up the investigation now? Hey, a little late. That's the sergeant from uh, Brooklyn 99, right? DC. Hmm. What for? Well, took a couple of district commanders down to DOJ with him, pimping ourselves for a little grant money. <laughs> to pimping so ourselves. What we got? At least he called it what it is. Nine year old in his bedroom, catching the sea and I stray through the window. We're chasing this ship from one corner to the next like it's a plan. Hmm. Hit the corners, Howard. Takes scalps. You'll feel better when you do. Okay. I mean, ain't nothing much you can do. And we done changed the name of that weak shit so many times that don't nobody come down to the towers no more. And them Carrollton boys had it going on. Who shot the young? <sighs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't think it was us. But them other niggas was going wild, though. I mean, you know, the cops is going to have to bang some heads on this one. <laughs> and they're going to have to drag somebody. Somebody got to take the fall. I know, Strong. Sorry. You gotta show some flex. Give and take on both sides. You hear me? Give and take on both sides. All right, anything that fire. That's him justifying giving them towers to the east side. That's what that was. Drive all that crumb over to the harbor. Wow. Damn. <laughs> That's what are the crazy. Chances? And Sergey says that until we're sure about the police, we're not going to be doing that business for a few days. For the rest of our business, we will disappear these containers, all of them clean. Take them to Newkirk Street. If there's a problem, they'll stop the trucks or uh, we will see the police. Huh? All day yesterday, I was giving a new number to our people. This is bullshit. If they were onto the truck, then uh, they would have searched it, no? Hmm. He's right. They're not completely on them. This gives them, yeah, but this gives them space to get back in. My worries are starting to, starting to hit because that dude, he, he said white mic, so... He gonna be getting his shit from White Mike, right? Yeah, remember we we was talking about does that fuck up the drugs? It looks yeah, like yeah. it did. Oh, did. They go crazy. Dan came in suited. Anybody that anybody with a gun out here. Absolutely now you got the police crawling all the way up your ass. Here we go, like I said. <laughs> good thing yep, to be an east side nigga, back I gotta back. say. Thing is, it he ain't says good to be an east side. So we die, baby. I'll be out there selling that real. I mean, the <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> made himself some money. I don't know who the fuck you talking about. I know you don't. Mm. And the police don't. Mm. And the stick-up boys wouldn't have a fucking clue either. Because mm. Charlie mm. Sala's just so dope. No profile, no street rep. Just buy for a dollar, sell for two. Avon a soldier. That's who you want with you when the shit fly. But as far as business go... You the man. <laughs> Proposition Joe the fucking... He got the silver tongue, bro. All right, I'm going to buy from you at the price you pay. And I'll let you walk that shit straight in the towels. 
Yeah. 734, 770, and 221. Hmm. It don't make dollars. Hmm. That's crazy. Proposition Joe with the proposition. I mean, it makes sense. I can't believe this duck is still alive, man. <laughs> Shit was drinking for a full night, like. Yeah, look like he going back, he back to it. Like. Fuck this. Said he was his other half. I don't want his fucking money. I mean, that's drug money. Fucking drugs are bad, right? What you ratting for, boy? I feel so. This man needs to get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. Bro, besides, I got a caper in mind that's gonna put that horse shit to mm, shit. He's trying to hit a yeah, lick? I'm telling you. You want in? What you got in mind? What do I gotta do? What a longshoreman does best, Johnny. This is your first time? Yep. First time for me. What do you do, Jimmy? Are you the police? <laughs> do you work with the police? No. Christ, no. Do you no, I'm a traveling police? salesman. Well, I travel and, you know. Uh, Where do you live? Okay, he's I'm still trying to meet that. up with the Eve connect. Yep. Sorry, I don't think we can help you tonight. Thank mm. you. You failed. You sound like a cop, brother. You sucked. I mean, really. Well, fuck if I thought I was <laughs> going to be interrogated. I mean, Christ, I'm just a guy looking to get laid, right? Yeah, exactly. A guy looking, a guy looking to get laid ain't thinking clear-headed like that. He gonna give it all up. For That's real. why you failed. Fuck is wrong with you? Oh, he lost a duck. <laughs> you know that didn't hurt, Nick. He was holding his face like that shit actually hurt. He really just bear hugged his face like. What the fuck? He did lose the duck, though, <laughs> it looks like. Unless he in the bar drinking. What's up with the vibes right now? What's up now? with my cousin? Oh, no. Don't even talk to me about that asshole. Oh, okay, yeah, he did something crazy. Wow. Drank himself to death. Oh, shit. Of course he did. What kind of fool would give a duck whiskey anyhow? That boy ain't oh. right. This fucking bird couldn't hold liquor for shit. Look who's talking. Neither can you, exactly. Y'all yeah, was all watching that mug drink. Like, the hell? And didn't say nothing about it. Male and female. Dope and coke. The hell's a mm. Davina? It's like a love seat, kind of. They line figured on it way? out. They figured all out the code. Numbers. No halves, quarters, eight balls. Ounces? What kind of numbers they putting on the furniture? <laughs> it's kilos. Mm. We're on the main stem. Mm. So what was coming and going kilos. last night? Kilos. Not much. No trucks in, some cars he in and out. We're on the main stem. None of the drug players we saw rolling up there before. We've not seen Greg's ever line into the prostitution ring. But so far, the people handling the girls have been a little cautious about Fresh Johns. So we're going to need a new angle there. Questions? Let Lester take over that. That man is smooth talking. <laughs> <laughs> out of town salesman. How far out of town? What do you mean? The further out of town, the more they believe. Less like a cop, you sound. You do any accents? English, British, Scottish, something like that? Quikey. <laughs> I was looking to get a little hanky-panky. <laughs> and this one bloke gave me this number to call when I got across the pond. <laughs> Work on it, son. Work on it. Close <laughs> Work on it, son. It's funny you said Lester, and then Lester gave the tips, like... <laughs> Yeah, we well, tell the mayor we're still working with that an eyeball witness. How about the street talk? I get a couple of mentions of a 17-year-old the street named Bodie. Narcotics has him oh. as Preston Broadus. That man look at least 35. The fuck you think you're dealing with here? Amateurs? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to answer that, do you? Fuck Nick. This is my thing. You want in, you got to deal with me. Wow, All right. he came back. I got S-class and SL-class Benzes. Roadsters, sedans, cabriolets. I got them brand new with the keys in the ignition. Nothing stripped. What? Off the docks. No shit off the docks. What the fuck do I look like? A fucking car dealer? I'll bet you got family that don't give two fucks whether or not an American car got title on it. 
Hmm. Man, it would be a okay. sad state of affairs if an international entrepreneur such as yourself didn't know what to do with a couple extra Mercedes. Oh, man. This is when that <laughs> greed comes in to kick some ass. I mean, he knows how to, how to do a sales pitch, I guess. Facts. You still got that friend over in Woodlaw? I'd like to know what the FBI has in its database. Well, after that meeting on the Barstow case, I kind of made a point of pissing him off, remember? So what? You do that to everybody. Facts. <laughs> everybody likes a good case, so if you bring them some good shit. Yep, this is... Yep. This is when his shit gonna fuck up because of Ziggy. Mm-hmm. Still, well, I was out of line, Fitz. Fuck it. What you got there, brother? White boys. Different look for you. Hmm. Funny thing is, they're all <laughs> shown clean. What's the chance of that, huh? Anyways, NCIC and Natus are a dead end. <laughs> Jeez, I make a long distance call to Hyattsville. I need three forms and a lieutenant's approval. Yes. Agent Ernest <laughs> Kutris, please. Believe me, we ain't short on paperwork here either. <laughs> Compare and contrast. All right. Mm. If you need it, let me know. He's in cahoots. I was dig you took the words yeah. right out of my mouth. He's in cahoots. Yep, he about to call the Greek. Yeah, oh shit. Hey, you took the words straight out of my mouth. I was just about to say, yo, this man looks sus. Yeah. Sus, 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 sus. It's mind. weird because I, I, I can't confidently say I know what a Greek person looks like, but he just looked Greek. Like, he looked like the rest of the Greek people in the show to me for some reason. Like, that's sick, bro. They are, damn, they got FBI plugs. These niggas is nasty, yo. Fuck. The thing about it, Preston, is that you're unbelievably stupid. Go on. I don't say that to upset you, just to state a fact. That's cold. Damn. He doesn't think so. Where that lawyer at, man? Bring out the book bag and then. Damn, he really. Oh, oh. Shit. See, you just fucked up. The way you looked at the bag, you know what's the in there, don't you? You did fuck That's up. That's you. Right there. You're fucking up. We even got your prints on one of the guns. We even got that. Yeah, right. Which one? Mmm. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Got <laughs> Lawyer. <laughs> they were asking about me. All right, buddy. Guilty. No one stops anything. And we changed the warehouse phone. Mm -hmm. Well, a day or two more. And we are back to business. My watch, we are careful, but we are back to business. Mm -hmm. uh, Sergey's like making a guy. call. Yes, another box tomorrow. You get a lot of Godfather vibes yes. from him. If there is no problem, then bring in the lazy boys. Mm, there they go. Perfect call. Recognize that voice? It's the man from the warehouse phone, right? That's the same guy? Same guy. New number. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Blue. She's a draw string. Yep. I mean, you can stomp on this motherfucker. Hmm. All right. Some of them police stop busting heads up in them towers. Y'all let Prop Joe's people take a hold of the three of them. All right. What's with the suit? Date night. The undercover at the brothel. Dang, she looked this salty. No, that's not enough, no. That's why they be paying them fucking CEOs so much damn money. Because when the shit fall bad, it all fall bad on them. Everybody else could be ducking and hiding, doing what they fucking want to do. Mm. <laughs> he wanted to be a CEO so bad. <laughs> no, no, that's a very simple thing, my nigga. Very simple. You drive the guns to the water. You look around. You ain't see anybody. You throw the guns in the water. Facts. Splash. It was worth getting out the car for, to be honest. I get the fuck out of here, man. Except you, youngin. Oh Ooh. shit, Bodie, you keep fucking up, Bodie. You got a bolt cutter? Cause I'm gonna need a good one. Got two in the window there. Twelve hundred. Hmm. 
I didn't even realize he had the duck blinged out like Fair that. Enough. No, I just didn't think it was real. <laughs> Not twelve hundred was he for real? Man, thinking about getting a gun. This is not good. I want to know it wasn't your people dropped that body over on Poti Street the other night, you know? I'm asking because of some motherfucker with some Greek ass name and shit. The fuck if he wasn't dumped in front of a house I was using. Did he have hands? Did he have a face? Yes? Then it wasn't us. <laughs> it is. He <laughs> real. <laughs> He real for that. Yeah, that was that was, that was. Did he have hands? Did he have a face? They even had to give him the camera time for him to say that <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, the fuck is that? It's a man's purse. <laughs> European men like yourself sometimes carry one. She mm. looking excited. People. Oh, that's what he meant by he had a date tonight. I'm dumb as hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You might have hands all over you before we get what we need. Indeed, I'm hot, love. It'll be your call when we come through the doors. You want us in? You say, what was it? Spot on. It means exactly. And remember, they have to bring up the money and the sex first, then an overt attempt. He just looks drunk at all times. Look at him. Spot on. <laughs> Detective Spot Freeman on. with Baltimore Spot Homicide. Spot on. They know I want this goddamn dialogue right now. Like, come on. <laughs> come on, man. At least let us read the paper. Nothing? Ah, uh, come on. Man, man. Look, the look on his face. It's set to pass House and Senate both. Money be allocated for the fiscal period next mm. year. Congratulations, Frank. Okay. What kind of stevedore drinks champagne? <laughs> so now, about the election. I just need one more year to bring the dredging home. It's what I need. Odds oh, turn, Frank. Mmm, he's still holding strong. This is Agent Kutras of the FBI down in Washington. He's mm. with the counterterrorism people down there. Terrorism? He needs our help tonight. Oh. Oh shit, okay. Um <laughs> The Greek, he got a nice play going right now. I don't know what his play is, but Yeah, I don't know what, what it is, said. but he's small. Lloyd. Fair is fair. Mm. Okay. Okay, so that's Eve. Nice she was at the table with them when they was having a dinner. Oh, was she? Oh, yeah, yeah. she was. Okay. She was, yeah, she was next that to the group. That makes sense now. So everybody who in business, they they all eat together. Same table. Should we, we should get upstairs. Oh, damn. Nothing they hitting it the same night. All that shit. Is that the the Colombian shit that the Greeks just turned them on to? Uh, damn. Damn. What is he supposed to say? I forgot the code word already. Hang on. Look. <laughs> I forgot the word. What is it? Spot on. There we go. <laughs> I Come on, that. man. Look, spot something. He don't remember. <laughs> How could you remember spot on? Like it's so nobody says that shit. Those facts. <laughs> he said, "Whenever you got someone, we're supposed to take the door and get in quick. Calm yeah, the fuck right. down. You feel me? It's a whorehouse. The whores down the toilet." <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, bro. He told him, calm the fuck down. <laughs> You're late. <laughs> You're, late. You're late. For You're real, late. though. What is he supposed to do? <laughs> He's finishing up.
Yep, the Colombians. Yep. Now that gentleman is a case. Hmm. Cut to the chase. Hmm. You want any closer on my murders? If these are the people really. who are importing those girls, then yeah, we're closer. The more we learn, the more chance we have to clear those cases. What about Frank Sabaka? That's all he yeah. cares. I'm not hearing his name in here anywhere. The union may be involved in the smuggling, but we're not getting a sense that it goes past that. Look, Missy, this is my detail. I started it. Same bullshit from last season. Yep. On Frank Sabaka. Charging Sabaka yes. at this point would lose us the wire and a chance exactly. at the real Just target. Wait, he is the real target. Patience, Stan. You idiot. Oh, my God. This is my uh. case too petty man My go work it yourself and now you're gonna tell me who the target is well not fucking likely jeez he's about to mess it up oh it's me about to mess it it's it's just it so much you think it there's is there's too many angles where shit could get messed up <laughs> you fucking with me right brother muzon from nyc I went to Avon, mm. told him I didn't have enough muscle to hold down them towers, played it like that. Yeah, and he reached out. Yo, I'm still mm. holding on to this deal. You know what I'm saying? This is just some shit that we got to deal with. Deal with how? Exactly. Now, nigga, I would take the motherfucker out if I could, but Avon can't know it came from his own people, right? You don't think I'm going to send any of my people up against brother? <laughs> this is a one-man army we talk about? That nigga got more bodies on him than a Chinese cemetery. Damn. Damn. I'm just saying, this your problem, not mine. Damn. You want a product, you need to deal with it. Right. Exactly. You don't got no bargaining chips. Heard, wait for word to come back, set up a price, talk to Brother Muzon. I mean, set up the whole shit, and that's like a week or maybe two. And by that time, <clears throat> people's gonna be in the towers. And if the money's right, then that is what it is. Here we go, New York license plate. Damn, told you, you pulling up today. Let's see who we got as an actor, though. Is it someone we know? It's Brother Muzon. I know, but who's Brother Muzon? He looks very familiar. He looked like he played in a Black Panther or Malcolm X movie or some shit. <laughs> Brother got the Muzon. bow tie and shit. Like, like he be real, on Chicago Corner selling bean pies and shit. Like. Look at that. <laughs> Blends right in. He looked like he coming Ooh, to like, save the hood, to be that's, honest. Like that shot he was looked, fire, bro, with the with the towers just reflecting off his glasses. Off the glasses. Alright. There you have it. Season two, episode nine in the books. Straight rounds, y'all. Duck and cover, straight rounds. <laughs> loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. I don't know if I just had the bug from last episode. Or whatever, but this one, this one brought me right back where I needed to be with my relationship with the wire, man, which is mm -hmm. love, 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 love. Great episode. Um, they got into some good stuff, man. Uh, over on the Barksdale side of things, the pit side of things, and even on the dock side of things. So I had, I had a good time here. How you feeling over there, Bradley? Yeah, I, I agree. Definitely had a good time. Yeah, man. We, we, they playing around with. Uh, quite a few things here and what i what i really liked about this episode was that they showed a little bit more of, of the greek like that's kind of you know the big baddie of the season um so they kind of just showed us who he's playing with everybody at that table during that dinner scene was very important obviously uh they're the key players to everything that goes on with the business so yeah man i'm i'm, I'm interested but the whole uh vow check Getting pissed off. Hopefully that doesn't, you know, doesn't fuck up the the, the, the whole uh, task force. So, yeah. You no, know, keeping my eyes out for that motherfucker, cause you never know. He might end up fucking up this whole investigation. Just like the first investigation was fucked up because of the higher ups. I'm wondering if they're gonna suffer the same uh, same outcome. But overall, great episode. <laughs> <clears throat> I agree. I agree. That Valchek shit was trash, man. He need to relax. He need to relax himself. Yeah. But to get into this episode, 
I'm gonna just start on the pit side of things, man. Pit side of things is it's, it's a melting pot right now. You know I'm saying this shit is about to boil over. Cause Stringer out here making plays. He he making plays while consulting, but the plays already being made type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he going back talking to Bree. He going back talking to or sending messages back to Barksdale. I mean, he did go talk to Avon as well himself, like mm-hmm. an episode or two ago. But he's still not listening to, you know, the things that are being told. They're not trying to give up. Well, at least Avon not trying to give up that tower, man. So I don't know what Stringer's going to do, man, because he obviously has to... He has to get... At least in my opinion, he got to get, like, soldiers on his side first. Like, he has to get that muscle, that loyalty to be with him, which I think he kind of has in Rock. And I think he's trying to work around with Bodhi. Um, because there's no way that Barksdale is going to continue to allow Stringer doing what he's going to have to do. So I feel like eventually it's going to get to the point where Stringer's going to try to disconnect himself by either, A, trying to take out Barksdale, or just straight up, like, I got more manpower than you just take your ass on like uh, you here's your early retirement take it or or get body type shit um but obviously we got this new character in the mix that seems to gonna be shaking shit up because even prop joe was like what that's who's coming i think so. i think yeah the new character is definitely the key but i think that's the key for stringer in my opinion because i feel like like you said he's kind of you know, uh, trying to get Bodie and Rock on his side, but yet Avon seems like he doesn't have anybody on his, his side other than the new character. So I feel like once Stringer deals with him, I mm-hmm. feel like that's his way in. You feel me? Because who else is gonna who else is gonna be on Avon's side? After but how that? he gonna deal with him though? Oh, I. I because they making it seem like this is more. I know. They making it seem like this nigga Luke Cage or some shit. They like, hold <laughs> up, nigga. I mean, you see Prop how Joe dressed. said, I ain't sending none of my men. Freshly dressed, got the bow ties. Yep. So, yep. like, you know, he he's not the average. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what type of person or what type of character this dude is going to be and what, what he's going to bring to the whole show. Is, is it going to be just... Is this motherfucker John Wick? Like the Steve Urkel John Wick moment? <laughs> man, man. Oh, no. I love I love the character design. That's all yeah. I'll say. Cause he yeah, looked yeah. he looked like he came coming to save the hood. Like I said, he looked like a motherfucker <laughs> in Chicago selling bean pies. He got the little bow tie, the little Muslims <laughs> under the bridge and shit. Like, but you know a lot of the Muslims did time first and then yeah. they came out, you know what I'm saying? So some of them got a pass. Like so I like that he kinda looked like he here to save the hood, but apparently he's this real scary dude that motherfuckers know you know because they all in b-more too at that and they talk about oh motherfucker from new york like so i'm yeah i'm real interested to see what what that's going to bring to the table man and i'm also interested if if uh if those guns and stuff like that is gonna continue to play a part in in this like is uh, are the uh because like it, it seems like they got a new police presence out there now Cause that was another thing that I was interested. In. I was like, "Dang, that stray bullet! Like, is that gonna affect the task force? Like, are they gonna? Is Rawls gonna have to pull some people off that detail to come back? But you know, they got new people on the scene, so I'm wondering, like, what? Like, is like how much more are we gonna see of those cops? Cause at least the one black dude that hopped out, he's an actor that we both recognize, and you already know how I am. If, it, if the actor's recognizable, he's gonna have some some time in this, yeah. this show so i'm yeah. wondering like what is the pit about to become like how, what is the police presence gonna be like at the pit like and then what is this new character gonna be, be like at the pit so i like what they i like what they doing because i was complaining about feeling stagnant over at the pit like every time we was there it was the same shit yeah and they just gave us this episode with a whole lot of new development so yeah right. i think he's definitely gonna bring he's gonna shake things up especially the way he was talking like like he was basically saying, "What what are we doing here, really?" Mm-hmm. Like, well, so I feel like he's gonna try to come with a different angle on how to approach yeah. the pit. So yeah, I I definitely it, agree with that. It made me feel like it made me feel like we needed him last season. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like 
we we needed a dude like that, leadership like that from last season, and maybe we would have got rid of everything the way we were supposed to. So yeah, yeah, my, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, man. Task force going ham right now. Obviously, they took down the brothel. That's and I wasn't expecting for them to to do so quickly. And uh, yeah, they 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 got it done. Obviously. Um, one thing I didn't expect from this episode was the FBI presence, to mm-hmm. be honest. I wasn't <clears throat> expecting that at all. And then for the FBI to tie back into the Greek <laughs> was even a bigger reveal, in my opinion, because they, it just it just lets you know how deep this shit really goes. Mm-hmm. This, shit, this shit is not only political, it's also, you know, you got people in the government you know, what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? You got the FBI. I wonder who else they got. Obviously, they got police. Well, they, they have to have police, right? If they got FBI, but if they don't, it's whatever. But I don't know, man. I don't. I, I can't see what's the angle with the new FBI dude. Like, you know, the. It seems like he he has more uh, authority. Than anybody that we've seen from the from the uh, FBI side, so I'm just curious how that how he's gonna tie into the whole picture. Like, you know what I'm saying? Is he gonna be yeah. also be going down when the Greeks go down as well? Is this is one of the mans that we're gonna end up pointing out having this picture on the on the board? I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's a good question because I honestly felt like he was just a one episode presence. Like, mm-hmm. I felt like he was just here to kind of throw off the scent from the Greek a little bit <clears throat> and then just kind of kind of just show us like how powerful the Greeks are like okay boom so they do have people in the FBI but like we probably won't really need him anymore after that but I don't know though he he might get some more screen time because they used them to to get that the drugs from the Colombian shipment which was pretty crazy if I if I'm if I'm putting this to, together correctly the Colombians was knocking them over the head for those chemical shipments. Yep. So the Greek was like, fuck it. We going to give up one of their shipments to the FBI. Mm-hmm. So now they're in a loss. So they can't even try to hammer us over the head. Like, yep. you, bro, you're going you gonna to take what we're going to give you for what price we're going to give you. Because you need this shit. Like, so I thought that was, quite a, that was quite a play, man. It was nice how they trickled it in throughout the episode. Like, they didn't really just feed it to us. Like, because I was kind of like... What is he trying to do right now? Like for a second, I thought they was gonna set Frank up, like because they got tired of his ass. Like I'm just like, what's that's, happening, that's, bro? That's like where my mind went. My mind went mm-hmm. to I thought they were setting up Frank, but mm-hmm. for it to tie it back into the Colombians and the money that they were trying to, you know, pretty much extort out of them and shit like that. So I was just like, okay, this makes sense. It definitely, I see. I see the angle they playing with, but it's mm-hmm. crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy the 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 levels of where they at right now. The Greeks, man, they 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 powerful right now. Facts. They powerful. Ugh, excuse me. And then obviously you already know I gotta talk about Ziggy Zoom Ziggy Zig Big. Cause he out here losing his wig. <laughs> this dude just don't know what he did. I don't know what's up with that man. Like, cause it, it's crazy though because uh Gleekus? Gleekus? Right? Gleekus? Gleeks. Lucas? That's his the, name, the, the other guy? The dude that be selling at the store? Yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. So, he, it was interesting because when Zig first came to him, I was thinking in my head, see, this is where the greed is going to catch both of these guys up because Zig ain't going to go to his daddy about this or Nick not. and then mm-hmm. Gleekus ain't going to go or Gleekus ain't going to go to the Greek about it. But we seen Gleekus at the dinner table, so he's obviously close like they they keep it close you know cafe style they talk about business together but it didn't look like he mentioned it yet or at all so i'm kind of wondering like is it still gonna is that still gonna play I'm, I'm just wondering like if that's if this play is gonna work against them because these two you know trying to f- chase that greed end up doing something just not smart because they already done did all the <clears throat> uh clean fucking shipments yep so now everything that's coming can be traced and tracked 
and it'll be pertinent information for the task force. So I'm just wondering like what Ziggy's really planning, how is that gonna work out? And is is him and Gleekus little operation gonna really be the one that freaking explodes in everyone's face? Listen, we know it's gonna explode. You ain't even gotta <laughs> say it. Like we know it. We just waiting. It's a, he's a literally ticking time bomb. Okay, that's what that's the definition of a ticking time bomb. That's Ziggy. But the last shot that they showed from Ziggy was him looking at the guns. So I'm I'm highly concerned about this dude because if he's looking at weapons, then that means something's gonna happen with that shit. He gonna end up shooting the wrong person at the wrong time at the wrong place. So it's just uh, I I don't see nothing good coming from this this operation of his. Obviously, you know he he's not. He's not smart. I mean, he's a slick talker. I could tell you that. That when I mean, he was having a conversation with the with Glicus, whatever his name is, uh, <laughs> he he was pretty slick with it. Like he he was actually mm-hmm. doing this thing. I was actually somewhat proud of him. But we all know when it comes down to the action, that man cannot he cannot hang. So I can't wait yeah. to see it though. Cause he's oh, talking about wait. putting some wooden planks down or some shit. I'm like, are they about to try to? He fuck gonna, it? he gonna fuck it all up. Yeah, man. I can't wait. To and see then, and then on top of that, man, we had the big, you know, RIP moment to the duck. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. He was stupid enough to get fucking duck alcohol for days, and don't think that motherfucker gonna die. <laughs> Ziggy, that's who. Yeah, them fools is wild for that. Fucking ducks. Wait till Tony Soprano finds out about this. <laughs> Don't bring back the fucking ducks, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. man. I don't know what else we got. Uh, we didn't get too much from Frank, but one thing that I did want to bring up is that it looks like uh, old dude is still pushing for Ott to take Ot. over. Yep. So I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of wondering what... <clears throat> what that plays into like like and how soon is that because it seems like it's getting closer and closer to that date where frank gets replaced but it's like i don't know i'm just trying to i'm just trying to figure out like what the, what does that create like because if frank leaves do the greeks just switch over and start working with Ot? like and then what does that mean for the investigation? Does Sabaka obviously Sabaka wants Frank now, but if Frank is no longer the treasurer, like are they still gonna be trying to get on his ass? Like so I'm just kinda like really interested in like some of the complications that can happen with s- things that I feel like are so minor, but they're obviously not. So yeah, I'm just kinda I, I'm just kinda interested in hey, what's I'm, going on with Frank. I'm praying and hoping that that doesn't go for the worst, man, because like I, I like Frank as a character. I think he's a good dude that's trying to do good, but obviously he's in a bad position. But <clears throat> I'm praying that he doesn't do anything stupid to to keep his position. That's what I'm thinking that he might end up doing. Mm-hmm. You know, yep. end up doing something that really is going to fucking drag him down and mm-hmm. just, you know, might put him in a, in a worse predicament than any of the other characters that we have in here. So, yeah, man. We gotta keep our eyes on Frank, man. Hopefully, he keeps it civil and, and doesn't, you know, resort to anything. I mean, obviously, he's doing shit illegal, but you know, illegal or criminal, you know, when it comes to retaining this uh, seat of power. But it's not. I don't know. I don't know if he's actually gonna. Cause I, you know, he seems like he has some 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 moments where he spies. You know what I'm saying? Let that yeah. anger out, but. I'm not really sure, man. I'm not really sure where they're gonna where they're gonna go with that, but yeah. Me neither. Hopefully they they wrap that up nicely for us this season, you know. Because what we got? Four episodes. Thirteen, thirteen yeah, right? in this 13? season. So yeah, so we got four episodes left. Hopefully they can. Actually, there's only twelve in this season. Really? Okay. Yep. So that's see that's like three more episodes. And that, that's why I was saying last episode at the end talk when I'm just like, does I wonder if the port s- remains like in the next season, the same way the pit remained from season one to season I two. Possible. Because I feel like, yeah, like I feel like there's mm-hmm. a lot more that they could still flesh out. Like, so, man. 
but the, you got to get through this shit. All right, this is my final thought for the for the episode. My final thought is basically, <clears throat> I love how it's kind of they're bringing up the same theme from the last season, which was Barksdale. That's all we want. All we want is Barksdale, and now we're kind of getting to that point here now in this investigation where uh, Valchek wants just Frank. Like, Frank is the main priority for him, but yet the case is a lot bigger than what it, what, what, what he wants it to be. So I'm praying and hoping it does roll over to the next season. That way we can actually get all the key players and actually get to the point where we can bring in the higher ups, the big wigs, mm-hmm. and I, you know that's all I'm praying for that we don't fall into the same cycle of just going for that one person and just leaving these other people who are potential criminals and and, and, and doing harm to the community that we can actually do something and you know actually do something that helps the community because these Greeks are. They a menace, man. These motherfuckers got got money thrown everywhere. So, mm-hmm. yeah, man. Hopefully that's the case. Hopefully we actually follow the the money this time. Yeah. Yeah, man. I agree. <laughs> I agree, man. I agree. And I guess <clears throat> my final thought is just I'm wondering what the tower what the towers are gonna look like. To be honest, like, because even with the new guy, Stringer was still like, yeah, I can move in kind of shit. Like, it's not like he's going to really know what's going on. But one thing that kind of was going through my mind was not not so much the old heads, not so much Prop Joe and Stringer and, and shit. But what about the youngins, right? We all know that the youngins be wildin', son. The youngins, they don't they don't have the business mindset they don't mm. care about hierarchies and shit like that. They just care about how they name rings in the street. Exactly. And the money. So <clears throat> even though they might be sitting here talking about, yeah, you could have the towers, whoop de woo are the soldiers going to fall in line? Mm. That was like a, ra- it was a super random thought, but I was just like, I wonder how Bodie's going to take this shit. Like, cause they showed a lot of Bodie this episode. That's probably why I thought about it. But I was just like, how is Bodhi going to take this? Because they always show Bodhi on people's head when they come into their territory. That's one thing yeah. Bodhi don't never play about. So even, and Stringer hasn't really mentioned this to anybody else. Like, so, you know, when when they do see other people, I wonder what that's going to be like. And if, if Stringer and Proposition Joe are going to be able to control and maintain that as well. So that's... I guess that's my final thought. This is a good. This was a good episode. It got me got me thinking about a lot right now. Me as well. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> you want to drop a skull? Yeah, I'll get this one. What's the What's the brother's name? Brother Muzan, I think. Okay. I think. I'm gonna get this 8.5 brother Muzan. You know what I'm saying. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get this 8.5 bow ties. You know what I'm saying. Point five I feel it. I feel it. It's a, it's a solid score. I'm gonna give this one a nine, though, man. I think this one was okay. was crazy good, especially after the last one, man. I don't know. The last one had me feeling sluggish. So this one, like I said, it put me right back where I needed to be because I feel like they just gave us just enough from both sides, the dock side and the pit side, mm-hmm. and both sides progressed. In a way that I feel like we haven't seen in like two, three episodes. Like I feel like we were kind of stagnant on both ends almost. Um, <clears throat> so I'm definitely digging it. Can't wait to hop into some more, especially with a new character. Three episodes before the finale. Yep. I like that. I wonder if he's gonna meet up with Omar <laughs> at some point. <laughs> what that'll look like. <laughs> Who's this scary man from New York? Omar might be interested. <laughs> Man, <laughs> ain't no telling. Let me take you out. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Let me take you out, brother. Oh, man. <laughs> they they definitely going to have to have a scene together, man. But we don't even know what this character even acts like. So I know. I, I, just, I, know. I can't I'm, wait to get into it, man. Me too. But, uh, yeah, man. That's nines and eights across the board from your two hosts. Y'all already know what it is, man. We appreciate y'all so much if y'all still here rocking with us. The Wire, 
Yeah, I did it, man. You bringing me right back. I love this episode. So, you already know what to do with the video, man. Drop those likes and make sure you drop some comments down below. Yep. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you're interested. Our goal is 10K. Double R out. Peace. Peace.